make the noise. Heck, I'm just going to talk. It's like they're trying to make it here so if you go to work, you have to have your vaccine vaccinated. And if you don't, you're going to have to pay for getting yourself tested all the time and get the thing stuck up your nose and tested all the time. It's getting kind of crazy here. Anyhow, gave up on trying to type stuff because I talk into the thing and it doesn't spell nothing the right way. So, talking now. Anyhow, that's what they're trying to do here. We got like the world's craziest president right now. I'll tell you. We got people flying in here from Mexico from all around the world coming across the border. They're bringing the virus in here. It's crazy what's going on. And he shut down the pipeline and people lost their jobs and stuff. And fuels went up like a dollar a gallon now for people. I'm telling you. This guy is the worst president we've ever had. But other than that, everything's going good. <laughs> now I'm yawning. Anyhow, that's what's been going on here. Looks like you guys got a lot better off in the UK than here right now. So... I making you get the vaccine so you can go to work. A lot of people are fighting it. They're like really mad. Arnold Schwarzenegger, he did a big thing about wearing masks. He thinks everybody should be wearing a mask so we can get over this. And he thinks Americans don't care for other Americans no more because they won't wear a mask. And it's spread, spreading like wildfire in Texas and Florida. Florida is crazy. All the hospitals in Florida and Texas are full of people, and a lot of kids are getting it, and kids are dying from it. And I don't know. It's really crazy. It's like they say 50% of people probably have, have the vac vaccinated, and the rest of the other people haven't vaccinated. And I don't know. I'm just staying inside. I stay away from big crowds myself. And if I go to Walmart, because people come from everywhere in Walmart, I put on the mask when I go in Walmart from now on. Because in that store. <laughs> Made you jump out of your skin. Yep. It's pretty crazy what's going on over here. So you guys can go anywhere you want now and do anything you want still. <laughs> you made me jump out of my skin. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh. Yeah, I kind of wonder where we're going here in America. We're getting kind of like, look, I mean, that president we got is just downright crazy. I mean, he's crazy. He spent $2 billion on the border, and that $2 billion was supposed to go to build the wall. We had the money and everything to build the wall. As soon as he became president, he stopped building the fence. It's more like a fence keep people from coming across the border in Mexico. He stopped the whole thing because he didn't like what Trump was doing. And now he spent $2 billion on security that hasn't stopped anybody from coming. And we got 2 million more people in America today that's came from foreign countries. They're not from Mexico. They're from other foreign countries, but they came into the United States through Mexico because the border is not secured. 
It's crazy what's going on here. Yeah. Out of Afghanistan and taking out all the troops from Afghanistan. And then look what that happened over there. They got terrorists tearing up the whole country over there now. We should have left our troops there to, to help them out. He's just messing everything up, this president is. He's like, I don't know. And then he's got China mad at us, and he's got he's getting Japan mad at us. He's getting everybody, North Korea. It's like he wants to start a war with everybody. This, this guy's like, he shouldn't be president of the United States at all. He really shouldn't. He hasn't accomplished nothing since he's been in there. They're talking about trying to recall him, try to get him out of office. And Nancy Pelosi's the other lady. She, like, causes all kinds of trouble, and they're trying to get rid of her, too. A bunch of people are. I don't know if it ever happened. They're all a bunch of Democrats, and I don't know. Democrats tell a lot of lies. They say you're going to do all these things for the country and stuff, and they end up doing nothing. It was a lot better off when we had President Trump in office. But we got problems over here with our politicians. But I like what Arnold Schwarzenegger, he did a whole thing on TV, and he said he was talking about wearing masks, and he said, if, if America... Uh, he said, forget about your freedom in America. Wear the mask because there won't be no freedom. You know, if, like if everybody would just wear their mask, we could get a hold on this virus more. And, and you know, the people that don't wear a mask are the ones that are infecting other people and stuff. Even if they don't got it, they're carriers and they give it to other people. Well, Arnold just went on and on. Like... That was pretty cool. The Terminator himself telling everybody <laughs> to wear a mask. But nobody's going to listen to anybody. Not in America. They're just In America, everybody does what they want. They don't care if they kill their grandma or grandpa. They don't care if they give the stuff to somebody. I know, personally, I know 40 people that have died from the virus, the other virus, and this year now, I know of two, two more people that have died in their 50s. And uh, they probably had the new virus. But I don't know. It's getting bad. People just won't do nothing to help out. I think Americans are just too selfish about what they want to do for themselves so they don't care about anybody. But that's how it's going in America. Oh. Oh, when I turned on the mic, it scared you, huh? Yeah. Oh, I had it turned off. Now I thought, what the heck? Just turn it on. Things not spelling. Every time I try to, I use the talk to make it spell, and it doesn't work right. So I gave up. France is being very sticky on there. There's no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's the one guy named Griffin? I think he is. He's a world. Uh, He's in the Hall of Fame with drag drag racing over there. I talked to him on my Facebook page, and he was supposed to come over here to do the land speed record with his car, and he couldn't get out of there to come over here to bring the car to do the race. And I was hoping he'd come over here because I was thinking maybe if I could make it up, up there to Utah, the Salt Flats, and try to interview him for YouTube. But... He didn't get to come. It's like three years now. He hasn't been able to come to America to race his car. Yeah, Biden is quite creepy. I've seen some pictures of Biden before. Before this election and stuff on the news. He ran one time before, and they put it up, the video of him and stuff, and he was telling all these lies, and they caught him in all these lies. And then, you know, everybody forgot about Biden, and then he runs for election again, and they, they put him in office, and all he does is lie. 
lied to get in office. He lied about everything. And, and plagiarism. Yeah. And so we got him now, and it's crazy. Yeah, he's a creepy guy. I've seen photos with him with, like, kids and the way he was hugging them stuff didn't look right. I, I don't trust that guy. I think he needs to be, like, we need to recall him. We need to get him out of office. Yeah, he's a very strange guy. He also, he also, when he was supposedly running to be elected for president, he stayed in the basement of his house, okay, which there's no windows or nothing. He stayed in the basement of his house the whole time it was going on. And most of the time, he never went to talk to nobody, and he was just in the basement of his house. And we're all like, how in the heck did he win the election, you know? He wasn't even out in the public that much. It was, I'm pretty sure it was like something got fixed or something. It's very strange what happened in the election, this last election. There was like ballots here in Arizona. Somebody had threw out a bunch of ballots when they voted, and it was in an open lot down in Phoenix, and a couple of landscapers found all these ballots just laying on the ground for the election that never got counted counted at the for the election at all and there's like hundreds of ballots just laying on the ground they just threw them away i guess they never counted those ballots so there's some weird things going on trump had tried to say that there was a lot of fraud going on and i i'm pretty sure there was a lot of fraud because arizona's never voted like they did for a democrat and then thousands and thousands of people driving around with bumper stickers and they got three mile long lines for people driving for Trump and they had all their things up in there and stuff, their flags for Trump and stuff and then when the thing was over in Arizona Biden won Arizona and we're all like, yeah right, how could he win Arizona when there was thousands of people driving around for Trump there wasn't one person driving around for Biden so I don't know what the heck happened Something happened here in Arizona. Yep. Well. Oh, yawning now. Yeah, it's good talking to you guys and stuff. And I finally came on and somebody was on here. Yeah, I like those videos you put on about the Concord. That was pretty cool. Walking through the Concord and stuff. I never seen the inside of the Concord like that. I know that was like a dummy Concord, but I didn't realize that jet was that big. That thing was big. Oh. Oh, Batwoman, she's her asthma's bothering her. She went and laid down. She was out here for a little bit. She was supposed to be talking when I when I went out to uh, take the dogs for a walk, but she didn't say nothing to anybody. But, yeah, she's doing okay. I'll... Yeah, she, she went. I tried to get her back up, but she don't feel. Her asthma is bothering her. When it rains and stuff, the humidity gets up, her asthma bothers. It's hard for her to breathe and stuff. She's going to start doing, we're going to, she wants to sing some songs and stuff. We're going to start recording the, her songs and then put them on here. And they're mostly in song, Christian songs, but she's going to start singing some songs. Next week, we're going to start recording some songs and stuff. I'll be playing the songs on here. I'm yawning still. That's not good. Just starting the day off. May have to get another cup of coffee or something here. Yep, they sure did. They just, I don't know, the Democrats hate Trump. They just told they hate Trump, but you know what? He got more things accomplished than any man 
has ever got accomplished as president in a short amount of time. And then, and then when you know Biden went in there, he's just like, "Oh, we can't finish anything Trump was doing. We got to get rid of it." So that's why the wall stopped. And Biden won't even talk about the wall. He won't even, you know, he doesn't talk to the press or anybody about the wall. And the people are just pouring in here like crazy. And the border people are getting all the governors and stuff and all the states by the border are all getting mad at Biden. They want to recall him and stuff because he won't even talk to him about it. But uh, Trump was in office still. That wall, the fence, the wall or whatever you want to call it would be all done and the people would be pouring in here right now. But it re- it's really bad because he says, he says, you know, Biden's telling everybody to get the vaccine, wear a mask and stuff. But yet we're letting thousands of people a day come across the border that don't have no vaccine. And a lot of them have the virus and they're bringing it right here. What he says doesn't even make sense. Oh, yeah. Well, when we lived in the other place, okay, we lived in the other spot. We had uh, a big RV parked in beside us, okay, and he put a pole up way up in the sky and put, like, Biden fly, flag up there right when we were getting ready to vote, about three days before we vote. And Batwoman went and talked to him, and she said, Biden can't win in this state, and and the guy goes, oh, you'd be surprised how this state will flip and some other states will flip for Biden. And I looked inside of his RV and he had all these computer things and stuff inside of his RV. And I don't know what the heck that guy was doing, but he was here for the whole time for the election. And then he left the state and he went back to Texas. But I think he was doing something on those computers and stuff, and I don't know. I think they switch votes somehow. Somehow they actually switch the votes. They took the votes that Trump got, and they changed them to Biden's votes somehow, and they did it by Internet, computer, or whatever, and that's how Biden ended up winning Arizona. It, it was fixed. It was 100% fixed, and they're still doing audits on it today, and they want to bring in different kind of counting machines and let them recount the ballots and see what happened because they don't trust the ballot machines because Pelosi, who's in office, her husband programmed all the ballot machines. So I don't know. I still think something happened there. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe we won't find out, but they're checking all that stuff out. And they've been checking that out for months here in Arizona. But I don't see any way in the world that Biden can go on Arizona because there's just too many people in the streets everywhere holding up Trump signs everywhere. There's just way too many people. I've never seen that in my lifetime, that many people doing that for a president in the United States. And then when the election was over, we find out Biden won Arizona. It's like, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that guy in the RV that was beside us had something to do with it. I don't know what he was doing, but he was doing something. He was from Texas. He came to Arizona. He was doing something with computers. And he said, oh, you'll be surprised. It can flip here. It's like... I'm pretty sure he had something to do with the ballots and something to do with the cheating here in Arizona. Yep. So now we're stuck with that guy for four years unless they recall him. Hopefully. Hopefully he'll get recalled, get kicked out of office. Because he's not helping America at all. It's just like China. China... Almost all the products and stuff that come to America anymore come from China, okay? Plus, all the products are made in America go in wrapping in China boxes, wrapping or whatever, cans or whatever. The product we make goes into the cans and stuff, okay? 
So China's like the trade with China is not going so good right now. And like the shelves are going empty in the stores like Walmart, the Walmart store. Most all the product in there comes from China. And guess what? Almost all their shelves are getting empty all the time. More and more every week, they're getting less and less product. So him messing with China and the economy, he's going to like destroy our economy. Because in America, we don't make a lot of stuff anymore in America because they didn't want the pollution in America. So the green people made all the factories made it too hard for factories to make stuff in America and stuff. So they all moved and they all subbed everything out to like China, Japan and different places. And now we don't have no factories in America anymore that can make all this stuff that we need. And, uh, well, that's the way it goes, I guess. Uh oh, what happened? I'm still here, but that's the way it goes here in America. We're kind of like got a president that wants to fight with all the countries and stop stuff from coming to America. So now the people will be short on stuff and businesses won't have products to put in their businesses. Uh, he wants uh, everybody have a vaccine. A lot of businesses are saying they can't work anymore unless they get the vaccine. One hospital in Texas, they fired like 150 people because they wouldn't get the vaccine. Uh, this is crazy. Oh, Lucy jumped up on my belly. Oh, man, what are you doing, Luce? All right. We got Lucy dog on top. How you doing, Luce? Oh, my doggy's like jumping all over me. Maybe I'll turn the camera on for a sec. I don't even know if that camera works. Let's see. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, yeah, it's because I got on green screen. Let's see. Let's go over here for a second. Green screen. Oh, no, the camera can't come on. I'll have to fix it so I can have a camera again. Let's see. Oh, yeah, because I have green screen on. Oh, Lucy, you're like, you got me trapped. I can't even get up to the computer. Yeah, good girl. That's a good girl, yeah. That's a good girl. Yeah, what do you want, Luz? Oh, you're stepping on me. Too bad I can't have that on camera. Let me see. How can I do that? Oh, I need to do that. I can't reach the computer, though. You got me trapped, Luz. Oh, let's see. Where's that? Holy moly, I can't reach it. Too heavy, Lucy. <laughs> Pushing the air out of me, Lucy. Let me see. Is that the, it's got a little slide on there. Get that. Let me see. Well, this would be cute if I can get the camera on. Let's see. Let me see, Lucy. I got to try to turn the camera on so people can see you. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, green screen on. Uh, I need to get where I can find the green screen here. There we go. We got green screen. Let me see. I go to the green screen. Oh, don't do that. You don't... Okay, we got green screen on loose. Let's see what happens. Let me turn it off. We should appear underneath there. There we are, loose. Everybody can see you, Lucy. Look. Say hi to everybody. You can say hi to all the people in Europe and stuff. Say hi, Lucy. Hi. Yeah, she jumped up on my lap. She's like squashing me. But here's Lucy. All right, Lucy. Oh, she said hi to you a while ago. She said hi, bat lady. <laughs> hi, guys. Yeah, Biden's pretty bad. Oh, yeah. So if you got, you can see Lucy is right there. She had to climb up on my lap. Anyhow, yeah. I'll probably She's put the green girl. screen back on. She's a good girl. Just kind of laying here on my little tiny bed I have, and 
Oh, you the good girl, yes. Get my computer going here. Oh, very good camera, but that's just a computer camera. Hey, Lucy. Say hi, Luce. Look over here. Lucy, up here. Hey. Hey, Lucy, look over here. People are looking at you from Europe. Oh, you blinked at them. Give them a little blink. <laughs> that was a good one, Luce. You're a good girl. Yeah. She's a good doggy. Yep. Don't have my hat on. Oh, no. <laughs> Look like I'm bald. Need a hat on. Not bald. Got a little bit of hair up there. Not much. That's what happens when you get old. <laughs> what do you think, Luce? What are you thinking, Luce? Yeah, that's a good girl, Lucy. Look at that, Luce. You got two people watching right now. <laughs> You're famous, Luce. You're being seen all around the world. Check it out. She is cute. I gotta clean your top of your thing. Look at that, Luce. What you looking at, Lucy? Huh? Uh oh. Somebody's shaking the whole computer. Looks like an earthquake. <laughs> said I didn't keep my computer clean enough, so now she's wiping off the back of the computer. <laughs> so it looks like an earthquake, but it's, it's, not, <laughs> it's not an earthquake. What do you think, Luce? You almost off, Mike? Oh, you got to go somewhere? Yeah, I do. Okay. Well, I'm going to sign off. Nice talking to you guys over there. Taz and is me and hope you Lillian. guys keep doing good over there and hey we'll have to try to do this some more and maybe we'll put you guys up here too we can all talk together or something anyhow have a great day and we'll evening. have a great evening i guess it's well afternoon over there i guess this morning for us okay i'll talk to you later we send you our love and all that. Lucy sends her love to you, too. Look at that face. Give him a wink, Luce. Okay, bye-bye. We'll see you guys later. Take it easy. I'm going to sign off. Till next time. Till next time, Luce. We'll see her later. See him later. Bye-bye. What do they think of Luce? In broadcast. Here we go.